Um, I was hired in March of 1978. I had just gotten done from, or graduated from college with an accounting degree, and I lived close to the Litchfield Quarry, and there happened to be an ad in the paper that they were looking for a clerk. So I thought, why not, I'll apply. Oh, my first day, I was nervous because I had never um, done really accounting work other than in college. And um, I grew up on a farm, so it was like a whole change of lifestyle or life for me. And uh, uh, was nervous, but excited about having a new job and looking forward to learning you know, whatever it might be. Um, I started as a plant clerk at the Litchfield Quarry. Um, from there I went to uh, the region office, which was in uh, downtown Utica, as an accounts payable clerk. Then from there to payroll coordinator, um, and then district administrator, and then in 95 promoted to region controller that I'm still at. I think my favorite position um, was when I was doing payroll coordinator. Um, it's something I had never done before and learning all about withholding taxes and then the benefits part with pensions and um, you know disability and workers comp and whatever. I, I think I found that the most interesting. My workload as a plant clerk, because that's where I was at the time, seemed it, it well, not seemed, it did increase. And um, uh, COLAS required more detail than I was used to doing for the first couple years when it was Allied Chemical. When I first started with, uh, with Barrett, basically, they gave me a hard hat and a pair of uh, work boots and said, if you go outside, put these on. If you're in the office, you don't need them. That was kind of the whole safety talk. <laughs> and now safety with daily huddles, it's, it's just a constant topic. Um, we're, we're always talking about safety before we do any project. We're, you know, how do we do this, you know, plan for it, if there's any lifting or anything, you know, how are we going to take care of this, do we need any equipment or uh, an extra person to help lift it up, but uh, you know, safety is uh, in the forefront for sure. All of the employees are part of safety now, um, and it's spoken about basically every day for every um, project we're working on. Um, so I think it's uh, uh, certainly a new safety culture and I, the company is interested and wants everybody to you know, go home from work the same way they came in, hopefully you know, um, as well if not better. And also I think it's carrying over to home. Everybody's taking it home with them too and thinking about you know, before I do this, do I need safety glasses or work boots or somebody to help me? So I think it's carrying, carrying to everybody's home also. Safety is probably the biggest change. Also, the decentralization uh, was another big part. Uh, each region can operate somewhat on their own, you know, and make uh, quicker to th and faster decisions. You know, those are, I think, the two biggest things, the safety and, and the decentralization. My biggest influence uh, was one of my old supervisors, Bill Palmer. Um, I think he worked for the company for like 20 years or so. And he 
pretty much uh, is the one who got me ready to take over a uh, you know as a controller. Um, the ins and outs, and, and worked very closely with him for for years. Um, so he would be the main one. The advice for the past me would be to work hard, listen, and uh, learn as much as possible. I think the proudest milestone of my career would be uh, when I was promoted to regional controller. To be totally honest, I never thought I would get to that level. It, it, it was probably roughly 20 years after I started with the company. Um, and it was just like a big milestone that I had I'd always hoped for and it, it finally happened. Uh, I would say is uh, fulfillment. Um, I had fulfillment at my job uh, and being able to, you know, expand my career basically with one company. Um, and also fulfillment for my family and my, my, my two sons, um, providing for them and, and uh, just Barrett's been a great company to work for for years.